atomic number of an element that is atomic number is defined as the number of protons of an atom that is the protons will be embedded or in, or will be inside the nucleus and therefore the number of protons present in nucleus of an atom will define the atomic number of an element and the atoms within of an element will have the same atomic number every atom of an element of a particular element will have the same atomic number and the atomic number is defined as the number of protons of an element of or an atom that is for example let us take for hydrogen that is for hydrogen we have number of protons is 1 therefore the atomic number of hydrogen is 1 and for example carbon the atomic number will be 6 because there are 6 protons in the carbon atom and the atomic number is represented as the form Z and the representation is Z letter right and now let us see the mass number of an atom that is mass number is defined as the sum of protons and sum of neutrons only and the electrons is not considered please remember that only the summation of protons and neutrons together is known as the mass number of an element and these protons and neutrons will be present in nucleus and therefore these protons and neutrons together is known as nucleons nucleons of an atom and the mass number is thus we calculated for carbon for example let us take for carbon that is 6 protons and 6 neutrons therefore the mass number is 6 plus 6 that is 12 units and the mass number of carbon is 12 and at the same time we can calculate for oxygen, nitrogen, any element by the summation of both protons and neutrons and the representation of uh, mass number is done as A and the symbolic representation of any element is noted as shown that is mass number will be on the upper base and the symbol of the element will be dated and down it will be represented as with the help of atomic number that is 40 N7 7 will be as atomic number of nitrogen N is the symbol of nitrogen element and 14 will be the mass number of nitrogen that is 7 plus 7 that is 7 protons and 7 neutrons and let us see the isotopes of an element isotopes are the elements or it is defined as the atoms will be atoms of an element consists of same atomic number but they different or they differentiated mass number that means they will be having same atomic number but they differ in mass number that is uh, suppose for example let us take hydrogen atom and the hydrogen atom consists of three isotopes that is protium deuterium and tritium that is protium is having the atomic number of one and mass number of one that is one h1 and it is represented as shown and for deuterium it is two h1 that is mass number will be two and atomic number will be one or it can be represented as d and tritium it can be represented as t or it can be that mass number of three three h1 and atomic number one here we can note down or we can see that the atomic number is same for each and every isotope but the mass number is changing right it is changing one two three and by this we can say that for isotopes there will be same atomic number but different mass numbers and isotopes are the pure form or pure substances of an element that means protium, deuterium and tritium are the pure substances of hydrogen element and at the same time we can give one more example that is carbon, carbon is having two isotopes that is 12C6 and 14C6 based on the mass numbers and also for example chlorine we have that is 35Cl17 and 37Cl17 that is mass number is differentiated by 35 and 37 and we can say that for isotopes the chemical properties will be same and there will be no change in chemical properties but they differ in physical properties only and therefore we can say that isotopes will be different for different elements and it can be calculated based on some formulas as shown previously we have seen that the elements with same atomic number but having of different mass numbers are known as isotopes 
Now let us see that we have seen hydrogen, chlorine and carbon as having different isotopes, right? Now what will be considered as the mass number for these elements? Let us see how to calculate the mass number for the elements having different isotopes that is let us take for example chlorine and the chlorine is having two isotopes that is 35 cl17 and 37 cl17 the bottom number is known as atomic number and the upper one is known as the mass number and then therefore we are having two mass numbers that is 35 and 37 therefore we will be taking the average of these two numbers that means the percentage of those isotopes in an element with the product of those mass numbers that means that is for example take first isotope of chlorine that is 35 mass number that is 35 into the percentage of the first isotope is equals to 75 percent therefore the remaining will be 25 percent the second isotope therefore we will be doing the average like this that is 35 into 75 by 100 plus 37 into 25 by 100 the first isotope percentage and the second isotope percentage average will be considered as the mass number of that particular element that means we will be getting the uh, calculation as for, as far as possible and they will be getting that 35.5 units as the mass number of chlorine that means we can conclude that we are getting a fractional point right that means whatever you take the little amount of chlorine we will be getting in that both the isotopes that is the first isotope and the second isotope therefore we will be getting the fractional units as mass number for those isotopes and let us say for hydrogen and also carbon let us do that further and we will be considering that the percentage of each isotopic form and its average as the mass number now let us see the applications of these isotopes in practical life that is isotope of uranium uranium also has two types of isotopes that is 235 uranium and it is used as a fuel in nuclear reactors and isotope of cobalt is used for the treatment of cancer and the isotope of iodine is used for the treatment of goitry that is goitry means the swelling of the neck that is like uh, this resemble or resemble to the disease like thyroid and these isotopes uranium cobalt iodine all these uh, isotopes are used further in the treatments of many diseases and these are the major applications of isotopes and let us see one more term that is isobars of an element isobars means the elements means the two different elements having the same mass number but different atomic number are known as isobars that is two elements let us take for example calcium and argon and calcium atomic number is 20 and for argon it is 18 but the mass number of both the elements is 40 that is number of protons plus number of neutrons will be equals to 40 and the electrons will be different for both the elements right and that is protons plus neutrons will be equals to nucleons as previously I said and the nucleons number will be same for two different elements that is for calcium and argon it is same mass number right but atomic number are different for these two elements by this we can conclude that or we can define isobars as the elements or different elements having same mass number but of different atomic numbers is known as isobars and those elements are said to be isobars now we have learned let us take this recall let us recall the summary of this chapter that is structure of an atom we have studied how the structure is divisible further and what are the subatomic particles that is proton neutron and electron and we have studied different models of different scientists that is jj thompson model and rutherford model and also Bohr's model in order to define the structure of an atom and at the same time we have studied about the drawbacks and failures of those models and we have studied the properties such as the atomic number mass number isobars isotopes and how to find out the mass number of different elements and all those and how to represent the electrons of each and every element we have studied the structures of first 18 elements and the valency number of electrons that is the number of electrons in the outermost shell of an atom and all these are the important terms related to the structures of an atom